All right, here we go again, guys. Let's see if we can actually get a duel in. My problem is, like, I run into duels and everyone just, like, quits. Can't get, like, a, a victory. Um, so it looks like we're going up against Dark Lords. Should be a bit interesting. Opponent is going to go ahead and pitch another... Oh, yo, this, they've drawn so many cards already. We're gonna have a very tough board to deal with. They're gonna banish the Zerato here. We'll see what we can do with our hand. We're gonna go Nastin. We do have Imperm here, which is nice, because we can negate a monster effect, obviously. Summon out the nest in here. Bringing out the indulged Dark Lord. You can take two Dark Lord monsters from your hand, except. Um. You can discard two of the special summon this card. Alright. I you know what we'll we'll infirm this. See how well that stops our opponent here. I have a feeling it's probably not too hard. <laughs> Alright, they're gonna go and link into Dark Condemned Dark Lord. Sending the Necrofusion to the grave. Add a card to hand. So they're gonna add the Morning Star. Passing turn, gonna gain 500 life. And we draw. We draw into a <laughs> a cross keeper, I guess. So we're gonna go and normal summon out the Neospatian Grand Mole for whatever good that does is gonna do us. Um, what else? I could bring out Dark Panther. Uh, what does this card do? You can choose summon this card. You can discard one card, take one Dark Lord monster here, deck. Once per turn, during in phase, gain 500 life points for each fairy monster on the field. Oh, I guess I could do, um, I can go into Verte here. Verte, Rainbow Neo, shuffle them back. Um, or I could just go... Let's just summon out Crosskeeper. And we will go for Verte. Uh, Verte effect, pay the 2k, Neo's fusion. Bring out the Rainbow Neos, obviously. 4,500 attack points. So Crosskeeper's effect won't activate here because it's not a hero. Why is Rainbow Neos not a hero, though, for real? Alright, so we're going to send this back, shuffle that back, go in for 4,500. And we do have the Neos protection. So they have Morningstar in the hand. Keep that in mind. And GG. So we pick up a our first victory. Let's go. Game found. Game two. Let's go. All right. So it looks like we're gonna be going second again here, which is not too bad. Versus witchcrafters. Oh, this is gonna be a fun duel. <laughs> All right, if you for those of you that don't know, I absolutely despise witchcrafters so should be very fun witchcrafter golem reasoning i'm gonna go for wasn't even close <laughs> at least they don't have the uh they're gonna be able to bring out madame very it doesn't matter link summon into verte verte gonna take the 2k and bring out a Wait, which characters have a fusion? Yo. Didn't even know that. The Witchcrafter Vice Master. Uh, Sh Schmidt's effect is going to be activated. As long with the Vice Master to add a card to the hand, pitching it the Witchcrafter by Street. 
magician's right hand negate the effect of your opponent's first spell card or effect so you control spell cast and if you do or did now have the effect destroy that card this is gonna be very hard to deal with okay um i guess we'll go i can activate this to special summon out you i can go keeper pitching all right we'll we'll, we'll do this like this Activate Keeper, bring out Grand Mole. Uh, normal Summon Keeper. Keeper's effect to pitch a, another Keeper to grab ourselves a Neos Fusion. We could activate Neos Fusion here, but because of the Magician's right hand, first spell or, or card effect that resolves each turn while you control a Spellcaster Monster. And if you do... Wait, hold up. So they control a Spellcaster Monster, but what we can do here is we can go battle phase, grand mole attack, activate grand mole's effect, main phase two, we go activate Neos Fusion, bringing out rainbow Neos, one, two, let's go. Do I send my favorite contact? I could send all your cards in your graveyard back into your deck, but is that really worth doing? I could get rid of these right now, which would probably be the best bet. But I do lose my favorite contact, which is going to be a bit unfortunate. And we're going to shuffle those back into the deck. And that should be it for this turn. Not a bad turn if you ask me. <laughs> get drawn to the card. And pitch a card. And that's a GG. We beat Witchcrafters. Let's go. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Going again. Join a 1v1. Game found. Let's go. Ready up. Go scissors. I haven't been able to show you guys too much about this deck, but it is cool. It is cool. Trust, trust. We're drawn to a Feather Duster, a Cross Keeper. Flower stacking, so we're gonna be going up against flower cardians, it looks like. 50 something card flower cardians. They might be like, <laughs> they might just absolutely wreck us with flower cardians, you never know, right? No. Here's our some drawing cards, show it. Um, So this is a. You know what? Let, let's actually do it. Let's impern. You're not drawing any cards. You don't have a tuner on the field. Let's see what you can do though. Gonna be All right. <laughs> Remember the effect is in perm, so that's cool. Or maybe not. <laughs> Opponent's choice, move to bottom. Alright, so I have no clue what flower cardians do, so I'm assuming they're gonna be doing this for a while. Maybe I imperned a bit too early. Well, at least their timer's going down, guys. Look at that. 230 seconds. So we don't have to wait too long. But you do get time at it every time you do a move, so. Pack to 232. If you guys have any um, ideas how to improve this deck, just let me know. Would be pretty cool. I'm thinking of uh, maybe having like a pure Neospatian build would be nice. Or like a mixture of like elemental heroes and... Um, because I believe with, um, Cross Creeper, or Cross Keeper, uh, you can special summon any elemental hero, so you can use this to summon out Shadow Mist, which is kind of cool. So summon elemental hero fusion monster. Like, Cross Keeper is gonna be so good. Is that a Baron? Flower, Cardian, Light, Flare? Yo, it's not Baron. 
What does this card even do? Once per turn, when an opponent activates the Blood Trap, you can negate the AP activation if you do destroy that. If a flower card in monster you control battles an opponent's monster, negate the effects. Alright, so this is going to be very difficult to out. We'll see if we'll be able to. So it's only when it activates the like trap. So gotta keep that in mind. I, I do think we have the the way to do it here. Uh, like I said though, they might they're still going, so you never know. Bringing out Flower Cardian. Gonna be adding the allure, pitching the allure. In phase. Alright, here we go. So this is what I was thinking. So first off, we activate. Uh, where is activate at? There we go. Activate Cross Creeper. Cross Keeper to summon out the elemental hero Neos to the field. Then we can go and bring out the <laughs> Grand Neos, which is a bit weird, but I think it might be our best bet. Unfortunately, we don't have a. We can use Cross Creeper's effect here. Oh, we top deck into a Neos fusion. Let's go! Um, I don't think we need Feather Duster, so we can activate the Grand Neos effect, pitch this back to the hand. Then we have, we have the instant contact here, so we can go and activate that. And we're going to grab ourselves the Brave Neos. And that is going to be GG, let's go, another dub! <laughs> Alright, once again, let's go. So yeah, I'm like recording these straight up. Probably not going to do any editing for this, but they've been going up good. They've been going good. Uh, do I want to Ash this? You know what? It's your lucky day. Ash a tear for me. Let's go. I haven't really faced Nadir Servant. Alright, so this looks like it's going to be Invoked Shadal Dogmatica most likely. There's going to be the Dogmatic. Got the Victorious, uh, Shadal Fusion Effect. Cool, cool, cool. Adds the Shadal Schism. So this is like our first like meta matchup-ish, you could say. Gonna be going with the Ecclesia. Um, you know what? I will imperm this. Set one, pass his turn. All right, here we go. We're gonna go and. Activate Cross Keeper's effect. Do you have an Ash of your own? There's a Shadal Schism. Uh, no, we're not going to activate anything here. Going to be Fusion Summoning out the Winda. So we are going to summon out ourselves a copy of. The Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos. Spirit of Neos is going to let us go into the Neos Fusion. I believe we can not activate this right now. Uh, I guess we just go Battle Phase. Attack. Take that 300. Get the window out of here. We go Main Phase 2. Activate. Uh, no, bring out the Rainbow Neos, which is going to be nice. And I can get rid of that Shadal Schism, or I could get rid of, um... Yeah, that might be the best bet. We're going to have to set ourselves... Wait a second. Your opponent controls. Alright, no, no, we're good. Set a called by. Activate. Send one spell a trap. Get shuffling back in. And we will just pass turn there. This would have been able to get a Dios if we really needed it to. Mm -mm -mm. Going in with another Shadal fusion. What are they going to be bringing out here? Brings out Construct. One Shadal card here. Start this card battle special summon. Destroy that target. If this card's in the grave, you can target one Shadal Spell and Trap card in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Alright. Gonna be going into Verte. Verte. Gonna be Construct Effect. 
can add the Shadal Fusion back to the hand. Yo, okay. <laughs> this is actually going kind of crazy. Selects face up defense position. Flips up the Neshadal Aerial. Brings back the Construct. Construct effect. Putting another Schism in the grave. Alright. Then we're going to see a link into access code. Access code effect. Sending the Verte. Construct effect. Schism back to the hand. Access code effect to uh, pop the Rainbow Neos. We will go ahead and go with that Neos Fusion protection. Set one. Set two. Battle phase is going to be going ahead and tacking into the Spirit of Neos. And two, we know they have the Sidal Schism. Cross Keeper's cool here. We can activate the Cross Keeper effect here to pitch it. Sidal Schism. I'm gonna be fusion summoning. Al Construct. All right. So what we do here is we go in for the Spirit of Neos. I don't know why it's highlighted. It's negated! Oh, I forgot it gets negated! No! <laughs> Construct effect, anyway. Alright, well. Let's summon out <laughs> Heart Panther. This is our only bet. We go to Verte here. Verte effect. Uh, copy one polarization or fusion spell. Pay that 2k. Go into Neos fusion. Bringing out the one and only Rainbow Neos once again. Rainbow Neos effect. Send one monster you control. Shuffle all monsters you opponent controls into the deck. Send it. Shuffle it. Let's go. We're gonna go battle phase, 45. They take it, all right. End phase, we, we're legit out of resources now, but hey. At least we have the, <laughs> we're, so, we're so dead. <laughs> There's a Shadal fusion again. Hey, this deck is fun though, guys, this deck is fun. Bring out El Shadal construct, construct effect. When, uh, I don't even know, I think that was a, a Shadal effect, I guess you could say. Opponent's uh, choice to draw a card. Maybe they don't have a way to out Rainbow Neos, which I highly doubt it. Because <laughs> Construct effect is... Just insane. Necrofusion gonna be activated here. Great to think that Necrofusion is still pretty good. Oh my, wait, what are they going for? Can it bring out Quintet Magician? Forcing our activation here of the Verte. Battle phase going in. Construct effect, Quintet. Main phase two, in phase. All right, top deck of Neos Fusion, Rhoda. Rhoda brings out Cross Keeper. Cross Creep. <laughs> Cross Keeper's effect to summon out. Its effect's negated though, so it doesn't matter. But if we could have just. If, okay, so I, I learned this though. Spirit of Neos effect gets negated. If it wouldn't have got negated, we would have won here. So you gotta keep that in mind with Cross Keeper that when you special summon it from the grave, your effect will be negated. So keep that in mind. And yeah, that's gonna be a GG right here as we get our first loss. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. It was pretty fun. Uh, maybe we can try out the new Amazonist support as well, guys. Until then, peace out.